Yo, what's good, y'all? It's your boy AJ. Welcome back to another scary video. Now, before I get started, I know you guys are asking where you been at. So I had a lot of things going on in my life happen at the same time, and then affected my mental health to the max. I felt like I had to like take a step away because like me being like, yes, I was sad. So I, if I'm if I'm sad, I don't want to like make a video. It's gonna affect the whole video. You know what I'm saying? You would have seen it in my eyes. Like I want to be happy for you guys. I don't, I don't want to be any other way on video. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, I don't got any excuses, man. I told you guys I'm gonna go live Monday. I didn't do it. I'm so sorry. So everything is past me now. So everything is like, everything is good now. So you guys are still getting a live stream on Monday. I promise you that. Even if something happens on Monday, I'm still going to go live for you guys. Okay. And you guys still getting the double upload today with this video. And then the uh, Saturday Night Fright, you guys still getting that too. And yes, yeah, so I want like to say I'm back <laughs> once again. I'm not here to waste any more time though. So without further ado, man, let's get it. <laughs> Hope you guys understand. Mental health is something you do not play with at all. That's no joke. But I'm good, I'm back, and I'm better, so. A few months ago, a woman named Rosanna bought an old apartment somewhere in France and moved in with her two very young children and her 13-year-old cat, Loli. Loli? Almost immediately after moving into the new place, her cat begins to act very strangely. Ooh. Ooh. What do Loli see? Yeah. Whoa, what happened? Yeah, it's time to move out, man. The cat, Loli, aggressively hisses and snarls at something that Rosanna can't see. Now, Rosanna says that the cat had never done anything like this before they moved. So as a single mother, Rosanna That's shares custody of her children with their father. So one night when the children are away at their dad's house, something happens that makes Rosanna's blood run cold. Oh, that room is dark as free. Don't go in there. Nah. I would have closed the door so fast. <laughs> Bro, throw it on the ground and break it. No batteries. Y'all think this is real? I think it's real. Cause like, what string you know? <laughs> Let me get my mind right. What string do you know that's able to move the dresser drawers like that? Open and close it like repeatedly. Exactly. I think it's real. Yo, you better leave. Get out of that room. Even though she's Rosanna laughing? is completely alone, she hears her young daughter's voice calling out to her from the children's bedroom. The voice repeats, Mama, over and over. But strangest of all, the voice seems to be coming from an old radio that doesn't even have batteries inside. Or a CD. After this absolutely terrifying experience, Rosanna decides to share her story online in search of advice. She also calls for help from a local priest. The scared mother is now desperate to try absolutely anything to get rid of the sinister entity that seems to be haunting her home. But nothing seems to help. In fact, it just gets much, much worse. Really? What is that? That's a mannequin head, bro. I always thought those were really creepy. They're the same thing like dolls. It's following her around. <laughs> nah. It's literally tracking her. 
Look at that. Why eyes wide open? Wow. It said no. It's over. The head but no, that's crazy though. That Rosanna has had for years moves on its own and seems to follow her with its eyes as she moves around the room. Rosanna feels that the apartment is no longer safe for her children and decides think? to stay in the home all alone. All Eventually, alone. she becomes so scared that she starts to only sleep in the apartment's living room. But then, late one night, Rosanna hears her cat Loli angrily snarling at something in the hallway just Again? outside the living room door. What happens next is downright chilling. Look, what string you know does that? And not break. Loli. Oh, that was all of a sudden going towards it. Couldn't be me. What? Bro, you gotta move out, man. Where did Loli go? After this very disturbing incident, Rosanna Man. says that she became seriously ill and spent the rest of the night throwing up. She says she is absolutely convinced that the old apartment she bought is haunted by a demon. For now, she stays at a hotel with her cat until she can hopefully afford to move somewhere else. She says she's currently seeking legal action against the people who sold her that apartment. Oh, it did the same thing too. Thing Look, in the if you know what's on it, why sell it? You want to make a quick buck so bad, but you don't care about the safety of your tenants. Like, bro, come on, bro. A Nukes Top 5 viewer who wishes to remain anonymous, we'll call her Jane, reached out to us about a very creepy experience she had in her family home in Norway. So while Jane is in the basement grabbing some tools for her brother, she hears something that puts her on edge. She hits record on her phone as she investigates. And what happens next is truly bizarre. Okay, so I'm going to get the key to the brother of mine. From the office of a car. So... Oh... What the We got their toe stepped on. Hello? Yeah, you're not alone. Oh my god, oh my god. Come on. I swear to the air bottom under there. No, nah, you're not alone. Somebody so, something so, else is in there. So we have the group. Hello. They are in that. It looks like a lot of hiding spots in there. I don't know. Someone just come out of nowhere and grab you. Fun. Yeah, um, that's definitely not creepy. Hello? Wait, what's that? You didn't see that? Unless that was a towel or something like that. No, that was a close one. There's several weird screeches coming from somewhere near her in the basement. And then as she leaves, the door seems to slam shut on its own. But did you see it? Yep. Jane looks into a mirror two times while walking through the basement. The first time, there's nothing out of the ordinary. But the second time, something seems to be standing in the doorway. I thought that was like a towel or something like that. I knew, bro, I knew that something was there. 
I don't know what right it was, behind but her. now I know what it is now. To this day, Jane has no idea what happened, but says that the experience gave her the creeps. I bet it did. Now again, Jane says she has never posted this video anywhere online and wishes to remain anonymous. So I have to leave it up to you. Do you think Jane captured something paranormal? And if it's not, not something. then just who or what? Is this? I really thought that was a towel. And smoke. <laughs> Bro. It's around 11.30 at night and Jocelyn is working in a smoke shop in central Alabama when she hears a noise coming from the back of the store. They can stay there. I'm working by my f***ing self. Red flag. There's noise in the back. What am I looking at? Something can be seen moving Ooh. around in the storage area in the back. Oh, that thing is quick. After posting the video online, shocked viewers asked Jocelyn to check the security footage of the camera in the back. Now, whatever this is, it doesn't show up on camera. But about four hours later in the middle of the night when the store is closed and empty, this happens. Dang, I just know that was loud, man. At around four in the morning, a ladder falls over by itself and a pillow seems to appear out of nowhere and just drops down the stairs. There's multiple of them. Now, Jocelyn says that she was so shaken up that she has no intentions of ever returning to work at the store and might actually Good. just quit her job. I would do the same but thing. is this real paranormal activity caught on camera? Yes. Or is it all just an elaborate hoax? I think it's real. You decide. You guys think it's real? Let Too me know in the comments below. Comfort. Amateur paranormal investigators Jared, his brother David, and a friend get together one night to investigate Jared's own house in Blackpool, England. You see, Jared claims that he has experienced some creepy... Yo, what kind of shirt do you have on, my guy? Like, bro, you're diabolical for that, man. ...and events in the house. So Jared's brother David is holding an SLS camera with built-in night vision when he walks through the downstairs area to see if the camera maps out any strange figures. But then something happens that absolutely freaks out everyone. Using the uh, night vision camera on the SLS, uh, so that's why they're still behind me, because we don't want to keep mapping them. Exactly. We want to see what we can map ourselves. Wait, did I see something? We never know. We caught some orbs in there last time was up here. Yeah, I'm hoping to see some orbs there. Yeah. Never know. We're back. We're stuck on two of the K2 meter. K2? Yeah, we've got Jeb behind us doing the K2 and he's got a couple of lights on it, you know, so we yeah. don't know. Yeah. Yeah, well, all we can do is just keep yeah, going so past and see. Whoa! What the hell? Did I just see something or did Hold my mouth? I don't know. Yeah. My bad, I looked yeah, away for a second. All we can do. It just yeah, keep going past and say, Ugh, it's a face. Did I just see something or did on my imagination? <laughs> yes, you did see go. something. What the hell? Like a creepy face. It was, it, to me, it looked like a face. See? Mm, I thought I, I thought I saw something. That was really quick, that was really spooky. As David pans around the living room, he captures what appears to be a bizarre pale face peeking mm. out from behind the door to the hallway. The group looks through the house and even attempts to debunk what they just saw, but they can find no explanation as to what this is. That is so creepy, man. It's poking in the eyes. Antoine's restaurant. Isabel Riley recently told a very creepy story online and followed it up with one of the creepiest pictures you'll ever see. I need to tell you guys about the most insane evidence that I have ever seen of a ghost existing. Backstory, I was at a company get together with my CEOs, my coworkers, and one of the owners of the company. Well, looked at us and was like, hey, do you guys wanna see a ghost picture? Immediately, yes. He begins to tell us that he was in New Orleans at a restaurant called Antoine's. New Orleans, first of all, 18, super 40, haunted city. Crazy. If you know, you know. I'm 
And Antoine's is one of the oldest restaurants in the city. One of the oldest restaurants, I believe, in America. It has a lot of history. It used to be a jail. It is a really well-established place, has been around forever. So he's dining at this restaurant and he is offered a tour of the wine cellar. The wine cellar is huge, has thousands of bottles of wine, probably worth millions of dollars. Mm. So he's taking a tour of the wine cellar, he's taking pictures. There's this guy in the wine cellar on a laptop who is apparently at auction buying more rare wine for the collection. My CEO takes pictures of this guy on his laptop, doesn't think anything of it, he doesn't see anything, leaves the restaurant, calls it a day. The next morning, he's looking through the photos and notices something. So this is the first picture that he showed me from the wine cellar. You can see this guy who okay. is on his laptop at auction doing whatever. And here is the next picture that he took. Oh. Um, so we all see that. That is a full body apparition. It looks like a woman in this like black Victorian dress. Mm. And when I was showed this, I genuinely had full body chills. So just who I could the creepy old ghost woman dressed all in black in the photo be? For that, we go into the history of the restaurant. Antoine Alciatori opened his restaurant all the way back in 1840. Then in 1875, Antoine passed away when he was only 55 years old. When he died, he left his wife, Julie, in charge of the restaurant. So could this be Julie's spirit still looking over the restaurant from beyond probably. the grave? Probably. I think well, it probably is. let me know what you think. Could be. We need scary videos, so if you see something scary that you think would be perfect for the top five, send it to <laughs> me at nukestop5 at gmail.com. Bye, oh, Felicia. Man. One night, Felicia Hall Bye, is Felicia. out on her back deck playing with her dog when things get weird. Whoa, what happened? <laughs> the dog is so happy. <laughs> Out of nowhere, Felicia hears something that sounds like someone whispering right in her ear. Something that says, get out. As you can tell in the video, Felicia is absolutely terrified and screams and hurries back inside, leaving her dog to wonder, what just happened? So did Felicia get an angry supernatural warning? You decide. I mean, based off her reaction, I think is real. Revenants and renovations. A man who works as a nurse at the IMSS hospital in Manzanillo, Mexico, was taking a tour of the recently renovated clinic number 10. Now, the old hospital was built in 1932 and has seen its share of death and suffering for over 90 years. Dang. So, the nurse is filming with his phone as he walks through the renovated clinic. Oh, you don't see that? Wait, was that nothing? Later, when he reviews bro, the footage of the... That's something. Hold on. Bro, what is that? What is that? Like, it looked like a face. I don't Later, know. When he reviews his footage of the old hospital, he spots something that sends a chill down his spine. Something resembling yes, a I was talking about face that. can be seen peeking around the corner in clinic number 10. Mm. The man is shocked. They need he help. says that he never noticed this strange face while filming. The man's aunt posted his video to the internet, and many viewers believe that he might have captured the spirit of a patient who passed away at the old hospital. Unearthed. This next help. creepy story has been going viral and actually made international news. 
So, TikTok user Katie Santry from Columbus, Ohio woke up one morning to find that things in her home office seemed to have been mysteriously moved around. I think my house is haunted and I'm freaking out. Like, I'm literally shaking. This is my sunroom. This is where I work. I sit here every day. There's a playroom here, doors here. This is the space. Hey, I okay. last night until about 6.30. Everything was fine, shut my laptop. We close these doors so the dogs don't come in here at night. No one is in this room. I'm down this morning to work. Screen shattered. Ah, oh, man, this that's the MacBook too. Down here, this hanging off. Here's the next bit of important information. So we're building a fence. And back here, we dug a hole. There is a rolled up carpet buried underground that we came really? across as we were digging this hole. Rolled up carpet. Who the f and why the f is there a rolled up carpet underground? Katie shares her strange uh, story online. Hey, shawty, somebody live with y'all, man. Somebody y'all don't know is living with y'all. And then viewers suggest that there just might be something more buried in the yard inside well, there was that living with y'all. rug. How deep is that? Like at least two feet? Almost, yeah. Well, right now. At the intense urging of thousands of video commenters, Katie decides to call the police to check out the rug. Just in case. Oh, man. Yeah, I see that tassel over there. It's yeah. like the end of the... Geez, I don't even know. Carpet. Who's to say it's not, you know... It's six feet long. Oh, oh yeah. No, there's just something like weird. Now, Katie says that she thinks the rug is a bit strange, but she doesn't really think it's anything suspicious. That mm. is until Columbus detectives arrive at her house with cadaver sniffing dogs. Uh, hooped in there? Oh my god. What Two happened? Two dogs both signal and sit on the area where the rug was found, indicating that the dogs believe that there is a body there. Oh. And this is when Katie's casual story about a paranormal haunting and a buried rug starts to get a bit out of control. In fact, Katie's story becomes international news. In a series of videos garnering millions of views, Katie Santry shared she may have discovered a body buried in a rug in her yard. The entire thing blew up on TikTok this week. The investigation stemming from social media police in Columbus saw a woman's TikTok showing she and her husband found this rug buried in her yard. She reached out to police. Well, police showed up with cadaver dogs. Even after the first dog sat, I really didn't think the second dog was gonna do it too. I thought maybe it was just an accident. And when the second dog did it too, uh, I, I freaked out. I think it Dang. is absolutely- hey, To be honest, I don't know how was a thing. Like, I don't know if they sit down, that means there's a body. I didn't know that, that's pretty cool. Something the more you know. Like in our area like this. Understandably, Katie is completely overwhelmed as a homicide team arrives at her property to dig. This is crazy, okay. It might not mean anything yet. Okay. Wait and see what the interpretation of the results are. Okay. Oh my f***ing So homicide is here and missing persons. And now CSI is bringing the shovels out. Dang. Bought out everybody. And I can see. We all want to know. News camera set up over there. Okay, they're digging. They've been digging, and there's six of them. Some of them are in the hole. Katie's viewers watch and wait for hours as the homicide team carefully digs out and examines pieces of the stained carpet. You guys, they have recovered the hole, and this has been the most absurd, insane experience of my life. What did they find? No, they didn't find a body. They found a mother effing rug with some rubber. The rubber. The question remains of why did the dogs hit? I don't know. Both dogs, not just one, two. I don't know. The other question remains is who broke my laptop? 
So, Kitty's happy with the news that the Columbus homicide team has not found anything suspicious buried with the rug. But viewers that followed Kitty's story and even some news reporters are just not completely convinced. Okay, so the update is they took the rug. Okay. Police did. They did not find a body huh. yet. Yeah, what do you mean yet? Because the dog's marked on the rug, so there has to have been a body at some point. I don't believe for a second they didn't mm. find anything in that rug. Not for a single second. I think she was posting too much about it, so they decided not to tell her what they found. Or, because they took it away for forensics, it was a mirror on the rug, no body. I don't for a second there was nothing on that rug. So even though police say the rug was fine, there's still some skepticism and some outright conspiracy theories about that rug. But what do you think? At this point, well, I don't know, man. Daddy Magarachi says that his house in Monroe Township, New Jersey is very haunted. In fact, Maddie has been posting about the strange activity in his home for over four years. One night, Maddie is home alone with his dogs when strange things start to happen. What is going on? Maddie's parents are away on vacation, leaving him all alone in the house. And something else happens that makes his blood run cold. It's in an attic? No, I can't be in the attic. What the oh, is that? Was that a mask? What the f was that? <laughs> Yo. So these are just a couple of the many videos that Maddie has shared online over the last four years. So could it be that Maddie's house is actually haunted by something? Or is it all I don't know. just a very elaborate hoax? You decide. I feel like this one could be either or. It could be real or fake. That's that's what, that's how I'm feeling. But uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, man. Please smack the like button. Subscribe today to join the AA. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.